Welcome to Coffee with a CISO. My name is Rico D and I'm your host. Okay, today we're actually talking about the outlook for 2023 of cybersecurity jobs and business, right? Check this out. So a lot of organizations, unfortunately, are laying off a lot of people, you know, whether it's brokerages, whether it's financial firms, or whatever the case may be. But what I'm noticing is that even though these jobs are being moved, that moved aside and outsourced and whatnot, they're actually reallocating the funds to for more cybersecurity jobs. I believe there's about 10,000 jobs that are unfilled right now in cybersecurity across the United States. That's huge, that's, that's dramatically huge. That means you have an opportunity to get in cybersecurity or to get in a different field in cybersecurity. As a cybersecurity generalist and a practitioner myself, I've learned that in every domain, every 19 domains what I actually go upon is I actually spend some time in there and actually understand these so I can play in multiple fields. So if I want to be a CISO for a duration of a time and then at the same time I want to do IR or forensics or cyber resilience, you got to master those skill sets and actually intertwine them so you can be more of a capable at, um, candidate. Now on the other side, if you happen to be on the front end, and again, I was one of those as well, a long time ago where I got laid off and I was like, what do I do? Oh no, right? What I actually started doing is I actually started offering my service, my, my skill set as a servant saying, hey, back then it was like 60 bucks an hour, right? Now it's like, hey, 200, 700 dollars an hour and here's a specific type of things we, I can do. So just because you find yourself in a dynamic of being laid off or maybe even your hours cut down, you can use your skill sets to find a different job, work two jobs at one time, but at the same aspect, respect your first job, respect the primary job, and also ensure you're respecting the policies of you know, moonlighting and whatnot. And the other aspect of it, you should have the ability to actually start your own business or even consult on the side. You, know, you never know what dental office or what hospital or you know, financial firm or small bank, medium-sized bank, or even retail shops, car washes, need interim people such as an interim CISO or a, you know, an interim you know, IT director or an engineer or whatnot. At the end of the day, there is work that needs to be done and you can do it. I hope this helps. Rock and roll, guys. Enjoy.